Do you know one of the compliment and appreciation that I have received from most of my clients in my anchoring and training career is that Neha you performed and you gave us results more than what we expected. But how did that happen? I'm going to tell you today how I made it happen. Well, my name is Neha Bhatia. I am an NLP trainer and I help people expand their confidence, their self-worth and their purpose of life. And today you're absolutely at the right channel because I'm going to teach you something so amazing that you're not going to forget for the rest of your life. But how about you first quickly give us a like, subscribe to our video, uh, subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to press, push and punch on the bell button so that we are regularly connected all right and yes don't forget to also watch nlpwithneha.com wherein you can find all my workshops that i give to people all around the world so this is one thing that i have received from many of my clients that neha what do you do before the event that we we think that okay you're gonna perform nice you're gonna perform good but you are just beyond when you come on the stage what do you actually do what do you eat <laughs> so i always used to end up telling them that i just meditate but before meditation i used to chant om and i still do it whenever i have an important uh, client whenever i have uh, you know a live seminar of course now because of lockdown we are not doing any live seminars but whenever i'm about to go in my community and train my people on in the group session or if I have a private session or if I have to record my videos and audios I always chant OM before that and these days we are also doing a group OM chanting what is the benefit of it no you know most of us don't even do it correctly so how to do it correctly and what could be the benefits of it I'm gonna tell you that so number one please understand it very carefully my dear friends that uh, OM is not just Om. No, we are not doing it correctly, most of us. And because we are just finding peace, stability, little calmness, after a little while, we start to do something else. But Om has amazing benefits. Of course, that you feel calm, you'll feel peaceful, but there are some massive, massive benefits in your body, in your communication that I'm going to share with you. Number one, Om helps you balance your digestive system. If you have any kind of digestion problem, my dear friends, you will start to get better. Your health will start to get better if you start to chant OM. I'll tell you how in a while. Your communication can become amazing either with your clients, with yourself or even uh, with your family members, right? This is the second thing. The third thing that you can get out of chanting OM is that you can become absolutely amazingly creative. Yes, if you want to become really creative and also because of this lockdown, there are a lot of people who are not able to adapt what's happening around, you know, in the environment. So it is very, very important that how you can actually understand to come out of this lockdown time and this situation that is that is trapped, uh, trapping us, right? So how you can just switch your state of mind immediately, that's something OM can teach you. But how to do it, I'm going to tell you that. So most of us, we... Um, you know we do om just by we sit and we chant om right no that's not right so how you have to do it is you have to first understand that om comes from a u m so a comes from stomach area the navel area or you know you just have to uh, chant a so when you chant a it should come from stomach you must have seen a lot of speakers a lot of um, public speakers rather I would say or you know actors they're always trained for their voice isn't it but here you have to understand you're not training yourself for a voice but you are actually using your complete energy from your stomachs they say that if you really want to become a good communicator you should always you must always speak from your stomach right so what is happening when you're chanting ah ah longer what is happening is it is actually making slight changes around your navel area because you're using those muscles okay now you go a little up and you chant Ooh. so if you notice you know you're just feel that when you uh, chant ooh, your chest should expand so for example if uh, you have a lot of uh, challenge with uh, you know holding on to something holding on to relationships holding on to money that is because we don't have maintenance energy. So when you chant, ooh, 
you actually get connected with the creative areas of your body, right? And because of the creative organs. Just around the navels are the creative organs. But when you come a little up, here we have all the maintenance organs, right? So people, there are people who know how to create something. Let's say they have a nice idea, but they don't know how to maintain it. They know how to make friends, but they don't know how to maintain it. They know how to create money, but they don't know how to maintain it, right? So when you chant, ooh, if you notice this chest expands, so now you open up yourself to actually hold on to things in your life, right? Now when you go a little more up, and before you go up, let's come a little down here, this part, right? Whenever you're chanting, ooh, a very important thing happens, my dear friends, that you actually, you're using your vocal cords, of course, you're activating them, you're balancing them, you are opening up, right? You're opening up your vocal cords, you're opening up your voice. So anybody who wants to become a good voiceover artist, actor, speaker, this is the perfect, let me tell you, perfect technique. In, in fact, even in my become an influencing communicator workshop which I give to people uh, who have done my 21 days in LP workshop. I teach them OM in the right manner, in the correct manner and when they do it they start to see massive changes. So what happens is that you start to communicate better right with yourself with others as well. Now when you chant hmm, now this hmm is very very good for people uh, who have anxiety or depression so when you chant hmm, you start to feel the complete vibration around this area and all of a sudden whatever was blocked here whatever was kind of you know stuck here is start to get released but not just by chanting after that you have to sit for 10 minutes with yourself as well i'm just going to tell you step by step method how you can do it so you will chant ah ooh, hmm right so when you chant hmm the hmm should be a little longer okay and a little softer so how you will do it is uh, you will be doing a 20 minutes of uh, uh, ch uh, chanting and meditation see understand one thing very clearly okay tomorrow is world meditation day so i am sure that you would want to meditate now either you would do yoga you would do maybe some other chanting but there are people probably who don't know yoga there are people who don't know how to do other chants but om is a universal sound my dear friends right so when you chant om there is a lot not just happens in your body in your communication but you raise your vibration and when you raise your vibration you will be able to send out vibration to the people in the world as well especially who are going through any kind of challenges in their life right so how you will do it is first of all have an app in your phone by the name of meditation timer okay now when you uh, uh, click on that app you will see that there are interval times there isn't preset time as well preset time is to just get connected with your body and just be aware of your body so you can do it for one or two minutes the preset time now when you do the interval time you have to have interval of three minutes now why three minutes so first in the first round you will be chanting om not just om ah ooh, hmm. we say it om but ah ooh, hmm. in a normal sound in a normal voice right so not loud not om no and not even um, no that will come later okay and also um, you know the sound should be less and also the uh, speed also should be uh, a little less as much as you know we can have towards uh, of course end but in the beginning it should be normal sound and normal speed okay so it will be uh, all right for three minutes you will be chanting maybe it will be uh, 10 times 20 times as in house so you will breathe in and chant then breathe in then chant so go easy if you're a beginner you can just do it two minutes as well okay keep the interval of two minutes then again do it the second time with a little lesser uh, sound and with a little lesser speed as well so it will be Yes, don't forget to keep that smile on your face. Okay, this is the second round. The third round is when you just whisper. So I'll just um, keep the mic right um, close to my mouth here. It will be. Ah. 
right so you will be just whispering for 2 minutes and then in the last 2 minutes you will be sitting and chanting it in your mind with a very low sound in your own mind now i cannot teach you that because it's in the mind right so you when you have the interval set you know when to change right now my dear friends once that is done now for 7 to 8 minutes you will just sit with yourself in silence and any thoughts that's coming to your mind you will just let it come and let it go with a smile you will smile and it will just go out of your exhalation out of your out of your exhalation out of your outgoing breath and then in the end how you will close this beautiful uh, chanting and meditation is by just saying to yourself what are you truly grateful for because now you have meditated very deep your concentration will imp- improve your focus will improve and you will be very very light now you say what are you truly grateful for and then one more thing if there is somebody that you want to bless in this world you who you think that needs blessings who you think uh, is in some kind of a problem in, in some kind of a challenge also because of lockdown you can just imagine that person's fra- face and just say i bless you but do it after a few days of practice okay because uh, you need to raise your vibrations to give up give the blessings out in the universe and to the other person okay so this is a beautiful 20 minutes of chanting and meditation tomorrow is world meditation day so how about we all chant together and by the way i'm about to start my chanting i do group chanting every single day at 6:30 in the evening in the sunset so if you want to try it out tomorrow please try it out and see how you feel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to write to us if you have any questions and please do share in the comment box how do you feel about it if you have any questions regarding the same meditation please do ask me so that i can help you further in your journey of evolution bye keep progressing